Hello test takers, welcome back to Exam Prep Solutions and today we're going to be going through some basic integrals and derivatives here of these functions. You should have your FE exam manual reference over on the right so you can reference that during the problem. Go ahead, give these an attempt before I go through the solution. We also have a guide, the five steps to solving any FE exam problem. It's 100% free. Just go to the description box or the pinned comment and tell us where to send that guide. Okay, let's get into these problems here. The first one is find the integral of the following function, 3 sine x plus 43x to the third plus a negative 10x squared. So let's go to the solution space here. Let's start with this first function, a trigonometric function. Now, you can see that the integral of sine x is actually not over here on the right. It is in your FE manual, but I want to show you another way that you can know that you're getting the integral correctly here. Think about this. So we know that der the derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x, where we're doing derivatives here. So I'm going to say that the integral of sine x is negative cosine x. So th negative 3 cosine x is the integral. And how could I know that? Well, let's take the derivative of negative 3 cosine x. We know the derivative of cosine x is equal to negative sine. So if we did that, it'd be back to a positive. So that's another way to know that you have your integrals and derivative identities correct. For this next one, we're going to add 1 to the power, then divide by the new power. So 43 over 4, excuse me, times x raised to the fourth plus negative 10 divided by 3, that's the new power, times x raised to the third. So it looks like here that our solution is answer B for the integral. So that's how to do this one. Let's go to this derivative problem. Find the derivative of the following function. 12 cosine x plus 12 divided by 35 x squared plus e to the x. So let's think about this first function here. 12 cosine x, the derivative of cosine is equal to negative sine. So we're going to have negative 12 sine x in this case. So that's going to be the first one here. Next, we're going to apply the identity low d high minus high d low over the square of what's below. So low 35x squared. First, I'm going to add a plus 35x squared. d high is actually just a zero because it's a whole number. Low d high minus high 12. Then d low would be 70x. I'm going to take that entire function over the square of what's below which in this case would be 35x squared squared, right? So, and then you're going to square that whole function. Plus, what is the derivative of e to the x? Well, we know from our identities, the derivative, derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So plus e to the x here. Now we could break down this whole function if we want, but notice the only solution that has negative 12 sine x is answer d. So we know it's going to be answer d in this case. So that's how to solve some basic math problems and integrals and calculus on the FE exam. It's important you nail these problems on early on in the testing process. They can be easy points for you on the test as long as you remember your calculus identities. So I hope you found this problem useful. If you have any questions, leave it in a comment down below. If you'd like to see any of the sample problems, leave it in a comment down below. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time.